This is the Star News Brief. I'm Tina Mumbani. Top health facilities managed by counties are understaffed, lack essential supplies and are unable to deal with many medical emergencies, new reports have revealed. The reports by Auditor General Nancy Kadongo show that the facilities, level 4 and 5 hospitals spread across the county, do not have adequate specialized doctors and adequate facilities like intensive care units. The report also show that the hospitals are broke, choking in debt, and also lack systems for tracking commodities leading to losses and theft of crucial commodities. Get a copy of the Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com. The unrelenting rains which have killed about 70 Kenyans and displaced hundreds will now spread to the central and western Kenya, the weatherman predicts. The Kenya Meteorological Department predicted heavy showers and strong winds could bring flooding to already soaked parts of the coast just days after floods in Mombasa caused serious damage and several deaths. The coast remains the hardest hit, with some parts of Mombasa city still underwater. President William Ruto and opposition chief Ryan Odinga's teams in the bipartisan talks will today make a last attempt to resuscitate the talks which are on the brink of collapse. The two sides will meet on Wednesday, one week after abandoning talks following a stalemate over the cost of living. Treasury CS Jokunandongo will today appear before the National Dialogue Committee to help unlock the cost of living in pace. MPs will on Wednesday meet the woman behind the contested 17 billion shilling oil consignment as Parliament initiate probe in the oil import. Anjeri Njoroge will appear before the Mwala MP Vincent Musioka-led National Assembly Committee on Energy to, amongst other things, clear the air on the ownership of the consignment. The businesswoman who is currently in hiding will also tell the lawmakers details of the consignment, the country of origin, as well as the intended destination. And Mombasa is among the leading counties with land-grabbing challenges in the country, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission CEO Twalib Mbarak has said. The commission has 130 cases in court where property worth 10 billion shillings had been grabbed in the county. Twalib said millions of Kenyans miss out on crucial services because of grabbed government properties and called on county governments to be proactive in the fight against graft. In Nyali, seven prime properties, including six government houses belonging to the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority and one belonging to Housing Ministry, all valued at 420 million shillings, have been recovered. Get a copy of the Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com.